This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Mama, Mama, your baby boy's coming home. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another episode of Mars Warlogs. In the last episode, we finished Chapter 1, escaping the prison on the train and defeating a Technomancer. And we got a new new glove there, as you can see. So now we have the uh, Technomancer uh, skill we, uh, tree we can now pop our thing into. Now, this requires fluid. Fluid is the uh, blue bar under our health. So if we don't have fluid, we can't cast spells or, you know, Technomancy or whatever. So... Yeah, uh, so a lot of different abilities here, but we also want to build into it because you can get um, maximum health and stuff like that as well. So it's worth putting stuff into the tree as well. Maybe you can get a shield. Basically, you can get the same abilities that Sean did when we when we beat him over the course of the game. Um, so we'll have to just kind of go from there. But for now, oh yeah, I did gain a level at the next episode, uh, last episode when I beat it. So now I just have to decide what I want to uh, put stuff into let's see how many points we got three so what we got we can either do chan increased chance of uh, getting items we can craft new craftable items and then stuff we can't do until we hit a certain reputation at this point in the game um, so and reputation like I said before is how you treat people so if you or if you you know steal serum from people so you can either get inhuman cruel charismatic or natural leader over the course of the game so um well, I did say I was going to go to Snooper first, but I was almost thinking about maybe going to, like, getting to Recycler or whatever, so I could actually, um, uh, so I could get more out of it. And this is one of the few feats that requires you to actually do something to activate it, which in this case, you have to recycle stuff to actually use it in the first place. So, and that allows you to get more out of your crafting. But I think for now, I'm just going to stick with Snooper like I was going to originally, so let's buy that. And then skills wise, all right, let's go ahead and put um, some into our um, empowering fluid so we can get some extra health as well as uh, some health regeneration, which is always nice. That way it won't take forever to get weight while I while I have my heal healing go up and everything like that. So, all right, uh, let's see, we're good on that for now. Uh, don't need to do the parry stuff at the moment. Uh, so you can't get. So I need expert on that. How many more do I need for that? Oh, I need quite a bit. So uh, let's see. Uh, nail. Ooh, nail gun. Do more damage would be good. Let's. Uh, yeah, let's do uh, the art of blinding, so we can start doing the whole rear attack, critical chance improvement. So at least we just need to buy one into that. So that way we can start a. Uh, um, Get more damage out of that so all right all right let's explore the the new town we come back to ah civilization huh it looks like a piece of crap but if we build it up a bit it could be a rusted out rust box hey you papers oh uh well i'm not don't have any papers because you know i just escaped from prison I know this is going to sound like science fiction to you, but I managed to escape from Abundance's prison camps. Those bastards. They make me sick. They sure gave us hell on the battlefield. But we still took Green Hope. And where were you? Which camp? Do you happen to know Prowess Martin? Those pigs got him too. He was captured during the fights on the 12th Highway. Oh yeah, Pro uh, Prowess. That was the guy who helped us with those uh, explosives, right? Prowess? Sound familiar? Yeah. I think he was kept in one of the nearby barracks. You actually saw him before you left? How is he? I mean, he's my sister's fiance, so, you know. At least I believe that was prowess. I could be mixing it up, but anyway. Uh, well, he's fine when I left, anyway. Hopefully, the, the whole, you know, the mutants fighting the cards didn't affect anything. I left the camp several days ago now. The trip was a long one, but at the time, he was fine. I'm glad to hear that. My sister had no news, you know? Those abundance bastards never let the mail through. Well, of course, you know all that already. All right, let's just say I'll let you off this once. Go, but make sure you get some legit ID. All right, now there's a reason why I specifically chose that set of dialogue, because if we choose something quite different or try to blow them off or whatever, we miss out on a side quest. 
that we could get from doing that. So that's why I said what I said. So if you don't want to mess with it, that's fine. But it's if you want to get the achievement for doing all secondary side quests, my parents then, have a store in the neighborhood. They're going to flip out when they see us. I'm surprised I can even walk back here. I didn't think I was supposed to. Well, hopefully your parents remember you. I mean, how long have you been in jail? I don't think Innocence would have been... Well, I mean, he'd been doing a... Uh, in the army or whatever it was, and then he got caught, but I don't know how long he's been doing that before then, so... Any random people we can talk to? Nope. I do, sir. Nope. Nope. Yeah, there's not as many NPCs in this game to talk to. I mean, you know, why would you want to talk to anyone to learn a bit about the world? Nah, it's, it's fine. Like I said, this is a B... B designed game, so keep, see, keep that as in your mind when you play this game. It's not supposed to be triple A, so. Which is why it has a weird sort of charm to it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I mean, I'm probably like one of the few people that like kind of likes this game in a weird sense. And and I'll be the first to admit, if someone said like, oh, I don't like it because it's slow or it looks bad or, or gameplay is a little wonky or whatever, I'm like, I would be like, yeah, I agree with you. That's all perfectly legit. Uh, um, ways to describe things. Oh, yeah, that takes us to the next section. All right, got some hardware there. Awesome. I might as well see, uh, see if Vincent has anything to say. Yes? How are you doing? I have a few questions to ask you, if it's okay. What'd you do before you got drafted? Not much. My parents had a store and I was going to take it over. I was sort of learning the tricks of the trade, but I wasn't really into it, to be honest. I preferred hanging out with my friends. And you? Which I think I may have uh, uh, did this already, so I'll skip it. Not everything I did was interesting or glorious, but I got by. What battles did you fight in? Mostly skirmishes. Lots of trench warfare around the shadow lines. Not good memories. Pretty bad, actually. I hear that. War's pretty disgusting, but it seems like it's the only thing going on in this rock. And you? Seeing how you fight, you must have been really something at the front. Yeah, I made the joke about the, the general thing. I wasn't in it for the glory. I don't like being front and center in a slaughter, and I wasn't trying to draw attention. Come on, let's go. Okay, yeah, it's just the same. I thought there was some different dialogue. Never mind. What the? Uh oh. Some Aurora soldiers, so. Uh oh. What? Uh, ah. Uh, dang it. There we go. Getting some uh, back attack and crits here. Let's see, I think you've all got masks on, so I don't think I can hit you with. Whoop! Oh, oh I, got, I got stuck! Oh, man. See. Yeah, I think they're all got some of them have masks so I can't tell which ones can be um, I have to have a innocence help me out oh, did we finally wound the guy yeah yeah try not to take unnecessary damage all right Let's see, you do not have a mask on, so I should be able to blind you. Yeah. Gotta be careful about that one guy, though. I seem to be getting pretty lucky with my crits. For the most part. If, if they don't dodge out of the way. Okay. You're not blind anymore? Ow. Oh, ouch. Okay. This guy, how are you doing? Uh, seem to be doing. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. I was about to say, better not. Uh, see, I think you have a mask on. Yeah, I can't do anything with you. Oops. All right. So far, as long as uh, as long as um, as long as innocence keeps blocking, I, I should be fine until uh, I finish this guy off. Yeah, extreme mode for you folks. That's just how it's going to be. I'll try, like I said, I'll try to have my losses be at bare, bare minimum so you don't have to see me do this like... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, he's in a bad spot, so I can't really get to him. Oh, we, we wounded him. Nice. Basically, I'm just wailing him. 
hate this. This is almost cruel when you think about it, just how aggressive this is. All right, you're dead. Anyone nice? Nope. Anyone want a piece of this? All right, we are good. Let's search for bodies. Hopefully, we get lucky with the snoop ability. All right, nice. Hey, if I get anything from anyone, that's that's always a good day. Oh, nice serum, huh? Maybe I'll actually buy stuff with this stuff. Although I tend to save it for health packs, really. That's why I try not to use health packs in this run because uh, that's why playing extreme runs probably a little bit easier if you're uh, have a terrible reputation because you'll have plenty of serum to make health packs so you can use them a bit more frequently but since i'm trying to play the good path i'm basically making this harder for me by doing that so if you don't want to do that that's fine um, i don't think there's any achievements based off of you have a good uh, reputation except good reputation does um unlock more side quests for you than not so you tend to want to be good for the most part so but anyway i'm gonna go back this way to see what i missed um, i think i missed a couple of explore spots like i said i don't off the top of my head, I don't remember every single spot of location of Star Metal. Nice. Could always use that. I did use quite a use of materials last episode because I uh, uh, wanted to prepare for Sean. So I made all that electrical equipment. And I still died. A, I think I only died a couple of times during the fight, actually. I got pretty lucky on that one, despite how dangerous Sean is as a as a uh, encounter. Yeah, well, he's a boss, so obviously he's dangerous. So. All right. Any other last stuff before we kind of continue on? I don't think so. Most of the stuff, uh, most of the stuff, uh, side quests unlock after a certain point. Right now, we can't do a, a few of them. We have to basically meet. With, okay, so we're good there. Now we can run to Innocence's parents and see how the family is doing. They'll just be, they'll just be pleased to pop to see their baby boy coming back from the war. Oh yeah, I gotta remember I can skip cutscenes. <laughs> Sometimes I just, I'm so used to games not letting me do that. That, you know, walking simulators, as it were. One of the main problems I have with most modern video games is that. Uh, you know they don't let you. They don't let you play the game. It just seems what? like, hey. Can't believe that place is still there. A little further, the store's on the left. All right, cool. Um, but yeah, a lot of games don't let you actually play the game. They just basically want to make a movie, but put it in a game. I'm like, well, why don't you just make a movie then? You know, and just call it a kinetic novel or something like that. You know what I mean? Which there are games like that, but those are kind of mixed for me. Sometimes I I, I find them interesting, but a lot of times I kind of find them either boring or pretentious so and i'm not saying i'm not pretentious in my own way it's just you know usually in a game you can kind of see it oozing out of the uh, certain designs We're not safe here, especially if they're watching the house. Come on. Roy, my parents are dead, aren't they? Uh, yeah, let's let's try to be nice about it. Like, they, they are dead, but, you know. Uh, Unless we got the wrong address. Could be. Now we gotta get going if we don't want to end up like them. No, that was it. I... I never got a chance to say... Let's Let's get out of here. You're under arrest! Stop right there! Alright, now we have to fight him, but this is probably the best chance to actually use uh, um, our abilities. So, uh, what do I want to use? Uh, let's show off Electric Arc, shall we? Okay. Ah. Yeah, Electric Arc does uh, a little bit of uh, electrical damage and it stuns the uh, targets, although, obviously. This fight can be a little dangerous because we got like a ton of people around me, so I have to be very careful. Okay. Oops. Ah, well, actually, I don't mind shooting someone. I might have to heal. We'll see. Yeah. Ah. Oh, well, you're wounded. I'd rather attack you now. Ah. Uh, no. I'm getting a little better at doing this. Uh, but, uh, stun, or, uh, you know, hit you with the 
sand. It's like uh, innocence is almost down though. I have to get to him before he gets taken out. All right. Well, at least one of you is. Let's see. Yeah, you don't have a mask on, so I can. Gotta be careful. Yeah. Because I'm gonna have to actually mess with you because you can't be blinded. Be careful, you get from behind. The problem with the camera angle sometimes is that, uh. That show up electrical flare again. That way, it gives me basically a second to, like, mess with them if I don't. If I wanna, ha like, heal for a second. It's a pretty good ability. Shield's also really good as well. Um. And luckily, fluid does eventually regen just the same as health, so don't be afraid to use it, you know. So this will make fights a little easier. So, nice. You okay, Innocence? They didn't knock your brains in? Okay. All right, let's check these guys. That seems to be Snoop seems to be working for me. I'm basically getting items every time, so. I need to remind myself to make more nail gun ammo, but I'm a little low, especially with the fight with Sean. I had to use quite a bit of it because I didn't have Technomancy powers at that point, so. Oh, there's some ammo, nice. Yeah, sometimes you get lucky. But it's only with uh, with uh, people that actually have nail guns when you fight them. Okay, eh. Snooper doesn't automatically guarantee that you get something, it just, you just hope you, you do, so. All right, let's go to uh, Thurville and see what see where we go to next now that uh, his parents are dead. Sorry to hear that, kid. Skip it. There's a, no reason to show it off multiple times. So, actually, does he have any dialogue yes. after this? I have a few questions. Uh, you said your parents were in the militia. Yes, my father got wounded in combat a long time ago, but he didn't want to stop fighting. So when the militia started, he and my mother joined up. He's an army brat, huh? A noble intention, except I get the impression the militia isn't around much in these parts. Maybe they all retired when they announced the war was over. That'd be strange. The militia's still useful. Anyway, you can always ask them. Okay, well, they're dead, so this is clearly dialogue on, you could let's go. talk to innocents before all this, so... The game, yeah, like yes. I said, game has its problems. I have a... You holding up? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm out of it. And sometimes I'm full of anger. But I'll be fine. If you ever need a hand, you can count on me. Thank you, really. It, it's hard, but thanks to you, I think I'll be fine. And at least I have a goal now. Something I can work towards. To get their house destroyed like this, my guess is your parents weren't just anybody in the militia. I honestly didn't care about that stuff at all before I went to war. But it's true, a lot of people used to drop by to see them. Asking for advice, all that kind of stuff. Man, do I regret not paying more attention and not telling them to drop it all. No point in thinking about the past now. Come on, let's go. I mean, you can think about the past, but never let it, never let it, you know, control you and everything. So now we're in the next section of the Shadow Lair. But yeah, we don't have to go back to the old area for now. So yeah, let's see what's in here. Ah, oh, more serum. Nice. Nice. To talk to you, you know. You know, at least the world is populated, so it's not like some games where you know they have like one the only the only people we can talk to is the NPC and that's it, and then no one else is actually here. So, you know, sand, huh? Yeah, I don't like sand, it's coarse, rough, gets everywhere. You know, there's sand in my boots. Yeah, one day I'll play that game. I mean, I played it, but like play it for the purposes of you know, showing it for people. I mean, a million people have already seen it, millions of people have seen it, played it, you know. But I want to do my own version. Yeah. Got some more soldiers here. Okay. Yeah, gun up. Oh, we got a guy. Oh, we got a dog as well. So this is gonna be fun. Great. Yeah. May have to switch to using the. Uh, ah. May have to switch to using the shield for a while so I can. Oh. oh. Well, dodging does not mean I will not get hit. Yeah. All right. Nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Sand in on you. Nope. Uh-huh. Not gonna do it. Nope. Okay. Ah. Gotcha. 
Yeah, by using that, buying that one skill tree, I'm more likely to hit them with uh, sand. Sometimes they can just straight up miss just because. Ah. I think someone hit me with a. No? Never mind. I thought someone hit me with a, with a nail gun, so. Actually, I meant to use my. Uh, Blinding Blast. Or electric, electric Arc, or whatever. Oh. Hmm. have to give me a second to uh, heal. I've got the dog on me, too. Oh, the dog's... Okay. I, I thought the dog was working for them for some reason. Because you could tell the dog hit him. Either that or the AI, like, glitched out and, like, is allowed to hit its own uh, allies, but I don't think so. Woo. Haha, take that. That was tough. Yeah, the dog's fighting you. You're not. You're not. You're, you know. Clearly, there's a. He's more dangerous. Unfortunately, because I'm moving around, I'm not a. I'm trying to get the dog to kill him just for fun. There you go. Ha. Dog's probably easier to fight than the dude is. Well, I mean, then again, the dog has to be hit from behind. Nice. Yeah, that uh. Critting ability definitely helps. This helps me get behind the dog too, so. I'll probably end up using the electric arc the most out of all my abilities in the game. Because like I said, it stuns people. But shield probably will get used quite a bit too, so. Did you get did you get your head caved in again, Innocence? Hello. Not oh, nice. Good run there. Snoopers already paying off. Probably could have bought it earlier, but I prefer getting stuff that raises my experience faster. Than, uh, than anything else, because you want those levels to get more feats. Ah, oh well. And I don't know the percentages of how like how stuff drops on people. Not enough people have researched this game to tell me otherwise, and I have not myself. As much as I like this game, I don't. I'm not one of those people that likes it that much that I'm gonna research every single nitpicking thing about it, like how the game works and and uh, and everything like that. So I might take a second to just like sit here and. Uh, let myself heal. Yeah, fluid takes a little bit longer to heal. We can eventually make it go faster. Just right now, we don't don't have the best way to do that. At least not the obvious way. You have to get higher into the technomancy skill tree to have higher fluid fluid regeneration. Or we get the injectors that do that. Which there are some injectors that do that later on. So I'll go back the other way after four days. All right. Hello. This place looks all nice and happy. All nice and gray. Serum and hardware. Nice. We're getting quite a bit, a decent amount of money, uh, uh, as opposed to what we would get if we had actually started stealing people's fluids, you know, like Adam and stuff like that. Where's the little sisters? You know, want those cute little girls around to help us and call us Mr. Bubbles. Oh wait, no, that's the second game. No, well, they call him Mr. Bubbles even in the first game. It's just you weren't. Well, I don't know if I spoiled the second game or whatever, but although well, that game's been out for quite a while, so you can probably spoil it. Be fine, but. There's well the, the the saying is there's always per, a person who has not played the thing you have you know or watched this movie you have so although some things have been spoiled for us because we feel like it's so ingrained into our um, societal conscience that we find it fine to say to spoil that things even though not everyone knows of that or people outside that place would probably not be aware of it up oh, more uh, enemies awesome all right let's see I take whoop. ah. I hate getting hit like super early. It means I have to be a bit more cautious with my. Ah, no. Yeah, this place sucks because this it's just way too close together. I have to switch to the. Uh, uh, give myself the shield ability. Yeah, let me. Nope. You have to be shield so I can take a few hits. Ah. Ah. Basically, what she, extra electric shield does is it reduces your how much damage you take. But unfortunately, I may have to heal. Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, all right, enough to take them out. But yeah, I probably should still use as I still probably need to use an ejector. I took too much damage. Uh -oh. All right. Oh, do we have another gun guy? Looks like innocence got taken out. Uh -oh. 
Okay, now he's one of those guys that'll only... Oh no, no. I'm trying to get him trying to use activate. I'm gonna have to focus on someone else instead. Like a person I can actually hit with my abilities. Oh he's hit yeah, he's hit yeah, you can actually get them to hit their allies if you if you're lucky. Oh no! Nuts. Oof. Nuts. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, before we fight these guys, I'm gonna, uh, I upgraded my newest equipment. We got the workers overalls earlier, and we also got the iron bar, which, uh, iron bar does a bit more damage, but I gave it the queen's claw, which does more physical damage and wounding. Dust does chance of critical hit and physical damage reduction. And then armor, uh, I put reinforced uh, metal, 10%. On the forearms, reinforced metal, which does 8%, and the chitin gives 5% damage reduction and 0.04 uh, uh, health regeneration. It won't help too much in a combat because it's more you have to stand still to, for it to heal, but it'll help a little bit. So we got 35% damage reduction. So hopefully, and my health has increased a bit because of the worker's outfit. So, so let's see if we can take care of these guys. Okay, so let's try. That, see if we can. Uh, okay. Okay, there he goes. Ah. Ah, ah, <laughs> get on my way. Yeah, I'll have you, uh... Yeah, the reason, you probably don't know, you probably know why, but the reason I'm dodging all over the place is because I have a chance of critical hitting if I do that, so. That's all, that's why I'm doing that, by the way. All right, nice. A lot better. Yeah, we just had to upgrade our equipment so we could take a few more hits. So. And use some items in our inventory. Yeah, on, uh, on, uh, this, on this mode, you have to be a bit... Um, you have to actually use items if you're doing the extreme difficulty. On uh, easier difficulties, you almost never have to use the items. So That would took me a couple of tries off-screen to get that, so... It really just means you just have to be more aware of your surroundings and stuff like that. The only problem with this place, like I said, it's a bit clumped, and they have a couple of ranged guys, so you can't, you kind of can't leave those guys alone. And in a sense, despite blocking all the time, he can only do it for so long before his health runs out. So, yeah, unfortunately, I look kind of super goofy in this thing, but hey, whatever. As long as it keeps me alive, I'll wear, I'll wear. A diaper if it, it it makes me a lot stay alive for a lot longer. So. Okay. I think I grabbed. I thought I grabbed everyone unless I missed something. Oh nope. One more dude. Oh no. Uh, no no. Back down. There we go. Looks like it won't let me grab him. Ooh, that was a good haul right there. I need some more ammo. All right. I think we're almost done with this little section. We'll get to our next part and then we'll call it a uh, call it an episode. Might run a little bit long just because of me kind of messing around. So, all right, what do we got back here? Oh, a thing. Oh, oh, we need some more hand grenades. I've been holding off on making them just because they require chemical components to uh, put together. So, that's another thing that's kind of hard to get at certain points. All right, I think. Yeah, we only got a little extra thing here. Then we can go on to the next section. Hardware. All right. Let's see. I think that's it for this little area. So that takes us back to the beginning. So, okay. Uh, all right. There we go. Let's uh, head on back, or head on to our next uh, area. Yeah, just leaving all those poor, poor guys there. 
The only problem with leaving them alive is that realistically they'd probably get my you know face and then be like, oh, we'll find this, we'll find this jackass and beat him, you know, and kill him and kill him. But uh, in this game, no, we don't we don't do that. It just shows we're a nice guy because we beat him with a crowbar and then just decide to leave them there and don't actually finish them off. They might die from their wounds. I mean, you know, I am using a pipe with blades coming out of it or bone or whatever, whichever version you're using. So it's not like we're this super nice guy. We're just not willing to steal their blood or their serum, you know, for it. That's all. We just don't steal their bodily fluids like some weird evil mortician or whatever. It's like, haha, I've got your blood. It is mine. Oh, we got some more. There he is. Get him. But luckily, this this fight isn't as bad because of a one. You got a lot of people they can hit with the uh, sand ability, and it's a little bit better of an open area. Let me get the other. Oh, do they ever kill innocents? Ah, oh, come on, man. All right, fine. Ooh, ooh. Oh no. Okay. Did not expect them to just like gang up on me. I mean, that's just the game mechanics, unfortunately. So. All right, let's run back over there. But yeah, they're not supposed to. I guess I could have tried to stealth past him. Or stealth past him. Do stealth damage, I guess. No. Well, probably not going to be able to now. Maybe. The game lets me. No. Oh. I forgot how bad the 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 uh, or how like stupid the AI is sometimes. Oops. Oh, did you do summon everyone? Ah. Oh well, that's fine. At least I got some damage off on you. <laughs> the sad thing is when you get when you get killed by or get hit by a guy that's blinded. But still, if you smack on him, you should be fine. But like I said this game probably would be a lot, lot more dangerous if the if the game's like auto save feature was a little bit less nice. You know. Hmm. All right. Get some free damage off on you. Unfortunately, it'll be a while until we get that that ability up to where I actually do a decent amount of damage. Dog killed innocents again, or let's knock him out. Luckily. That's at least what fluid I've got. There we go. Yeah, see, so sometimes it doesn't take that long. It's just, you know, I just have to be, be in better positions, you know. Alright, nice. Serum cloth and scrap metal. Serum cloth, scrap metal. What you got? Give me some bone. Or leather. That's cool. And I somehow knocked you up there. Somehow. Alright, more nail gun ammo. Awesome. And let's see. Yeah, we want to go this way just to see what we missed. Any collectibles or grabbables or whatever, so. Oops. Come on. Oh, so you're the components. Awesome. There shouldn't be much to this. Yeah, there shouldn't. I was about to say there shouldn't be much here, just because you know we've already been here. Short little area. Let's see anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. So, all right. All right. I think we'll we'll get to this one place and then we'll call it a call it a day. Anything over here? Aha! You did not you did not fool me. Ooh, leather uh, ammo. Nice. All right. Oh, we got some guards over there. So we're going to have to fight them and find our way back home. Can we find our way back home? What awaits us in the shadow lair? Some shadow doers? And what about those side quests? We'll find out next time in the next episode of War Mars Warlogs. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.